Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Nintendo Switch physical game unboxing. And today we are here with another game from Limited Run Games. I have a link in the description below if you want to check this company out. I do really dig them, although I am a little miffed at them, not them particularly. I'll tell you that story here real quick. But uh, if you don't know, basically Limited Run Games is a United States company that does small, limited runs of physical Switch games. Indie games, typically, that you aren't going to be able to get physically pretty much anywhere else. At least not in the U.S. Although now, some of their games they are selling uh, with different art to Best Buy. Like right now, you can find Golf Story and Yuka, Yaka Lele, however you say it, something like that. And that's pretty neat. And they do offer those alternate slip covers for like a buck on the limited run sites if you're trying to collect all the covers. Now, they also always offer, almost always offer a collector's edition, which comes with all kinds of cool goodies. And I've done pretty well about getting most of those. However, I'm miffed because when Celeste happened, I am one of those unlucky people who managed to be there refreshing my computer right at six o'clock for the second batch, got one in my cart, and for whatever reason, this time my credit card was not saved, so by the time I typed it in, it was sold out and I couldn't buy it. And I think that's bull crap, so I'm gonna vent for two seconds and then we'll move on. My vent is, I understand not allowing people to put stuff in the cart to save it, but how about a timed save? Let people put it in their cart. Let it stay in their cart for three minutes so they have time to type in whatever they need to type in if something goes wrong. I get that. I, I understand don't let them save it for a day or whatever because that screws everything else up and again it's not all their fault I just needed to vent because I was really bummed I was even gonna go buy their mega pack that had like the PlayStation game and everything and that even sold out so so I guess I'm just gonna get the common Celeste I don't know if this is one that had there's venting over now we're into this game now I don't know which game this is until we open it and um, I'm just excited to see what it is I don't know if it's one that came with an exclusive uh, and I missed it or not because like I said outside of Thimbleweed Park number one I've missed two or three. I think Celeste was my third uh, collector's edition that I've missed now. And everything else I've done really, really well with. So let's get in here. Let's see what game this is. We will, of course, do a playthrough of some of the game. Give you a sense of what it looks like. And we get some other special goodies as well. Hopefully, maybe we got a really cool card. I don't know. You only really get one card with them. So first, we got the limited run loyalty rewards points. These are redeemable. You have to send in the ticket to get some cool stuff. And they now have like a point club thing just for signing in and everything as well. So, all right, let's actually see what the game is just real quick. Broken Age. All right. So this is limited run game number 16. We'll look at that more in a second. Here is the card. We got number 330. Cool. Yeah, I don't think this one had an exclusive then. I feel like this is when I would have gotten the collector's edition, I mean the collector's edition, because I feel like that's what I would have gotten. I'm gonna take the plastic off so we can actually get a good look at this with as little reflection as possible. I will be upgrading my uh, camera setup for shooting these kind of videos in the future now that I'm getting more time to do those kind of things. But for now, we're still on a phone because it's just the easiest way to rig. So this could be interesting. I don't really know anything about it. I typically like um, their taste in games and what they kind of curate for me essentially. But here's all of this if you wanna check it out and you can pause if I'm moving a little bit too quickly. And it is a single player game. And of course number 16, because Nintendo USA won't let them put it on the spine for whatever stupid reason. Uh, just one of those baffling Nintendo reasons. They seem to be understanding how things work better these days, like letting people put Nintendo stuff on YouTube, but that's just like a weird rule. Unless somebody knows and you wanna tell me why they have that rule in the US. All right, let's pop this open. We do have a sweet little manual here, which we'll take a look at after the gameplay. That is some nice back art. I do miss that they used to always be kind of double-sided covers. I like reversible covers, but that's still pretty cool as well as that goes. And there is the cartridge. And now, here's the gameplay. Hey, easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. 
I used to change your diaper. Choco Rockets? Sure. What difference does it make? Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. Once more into the Milky Breach. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you... Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? It's in... An... Oh, I see an avalanche! Yay! That's not worse. Help! Someone! What the... Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay! Don't worry, I'll figure out how to get you on. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get... Hey, check this out. Why not check out us avalanche victims over here instead? Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get... Hey, look at all that whipped cream. Hey, look at the people stuck in the terrible avalanche. Don't worry, I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We Here, take this spoon and dig yourselves out. Don't worry, I'll figure out. Here, take this spoon and dig your... Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Can they see us? Why isn't anyone safe? I should really use this on food, not myself. 
as you command, sir. But I'm up for anything. Someone dig us out! This is a bit... Make like a train and choo choo choo! Nutrition paste for you today. Brown. <laughs> Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Outside the ship, the foreign body must be very close by. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. So hopefully that was really cool. I, of course, as I'm filming this, I haven't played it yet, but I have no idea. But you guys are going to let me know what you think. Another thing to let me know what you think is, do you want me to talk over the games? Do you want a commentary while I play them? Or are you cool with just getting five, ten minutes of the start of the game and seeing what you think? Let me know. But now let's take a look through this manual. Of course, I'm going to go kind of quickly, but you should be able to pause if you like. I'll try to stay on each page long enough for you to click a good pause with it in focus. That really reminds me of Clerks. So that's interesting. I love it when they have concept art in here. I think this is one of the things that makes their games, uh, their their physical releases of these games really, really interesting and fascinating to me. Because much like I love behind the scenes of film and how films are made, I'm getting that way with video games. I'm really fascinated in the process. Not necessarily the coding and stuff like that, but just, you know, how games are kind of created and built. Because, I mean, a lot of games are kind of better than movies. And for me to say that is kind of a huge thing because movies are my go-to, my number one, but what are you gonna do? Character art is definitely very interesting in this. So I'm anxious to kind of see what I really think about the game. You've seen me play it, but I haven't played it yet because I'm still filming this video. <laughs> that wolf looks interesting. That reminds me of something. Like an anti-smoking thing or something? I'm not really sure. But yeah, this looks like it should be a pretty fun game. I'm guessing this is kind of a, a exploration platformer style thing, kind of 3D platform maybe. That's definitely the vibe I'm getting from it. So hopefully it has a really great story. And hopefully it's really, really cool. I'm sure it is. Like I said, they do a really good job with the games they pick over at Limited Run. And I know they got some really fantastic stuff coming up in the future. But yeah, so there you guys go. That is Broken Age for the Nintendo Switch from Limited Run Games. And now's your time to get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you want me to talk over the games or not? What do you think about this game? Have you played it? Did you get one? What are you looking for? What would you like to see come out physically in the limited edition? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So definitely geek out with me in the comments below. Let me know, and I'm sorry for the rant at the beginning. I just needed to get it out somewhere where I know some of you are going to um, agree. Um, and there's nothing we can really do about it, and I don't really, I don't hate Limited Run or anything. It just, it really upset me that day, but what are you going to do? It happens. All right, I'm going to get out of here, so click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And now I'm going to get out of here so I can go play some games and open up some more stuff, and I'll see you all later. Later.